Welcome to this awareness campaign by First Day, a subsidiary company of RN Sons. We believe in empowering individuals through knowledge and understanding. Today, we're taking a close look at a topic that affects more than half the world's population, yet is often misunderstood or even stigmatized, menstrual health. As a part of our mission to encourage young adults to take charge of their health, we're here to debunk myths, break down taboos, and bring the conversation about menstruation out of the shadows. It's time to shed light on this natural, healthy process and understand its significance in our lives. So, whether you're someone who menstruates or you know someone who does, this video is for you. Let's dive in and learn together. Before we delve into the science of menstruation, let's take a moment to understand why it's often a difficult subject to discuss openly. Why is menstruation considered a taboo in many societies? The answer lies in our history and cultural narratives. Throughout centuries, menstruation has been associated with impurity, uncleanliness, and even supernatural powers. These misconceptions have been passed down generations, creating a veil of silence around this natural process. But as we move forward, it's important to challenge these outdated beliefs and promote a healthy, informed conversation about menstrual health. Remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding the historical context, we can pave the way for a more inclusive and empathetic society. So let's break the silence, dispel the misconceptions, and reclaim menstruation from the shadows of taboo. Stay with us as we embark on this journey of understanding and enlightenment. Having set the historical context and before we dive into the intricacies of the menstrual cycle, let's take a detour and bust some common menstrual myths that have been perpetuated for generations. Myth number one, menstruating individuals are dirty or impure. This is absolutely untrue. Menstruation is a natural and healthy process. Myth number two, you cannot exercise during your period. Again, false. Regular physical activity can actually help alleviate menstrual cramps. Myth number three, severe pain during menstruation is normal. While some discomfort is common, extreme pain can be a sign of conditions like endometriosis and should be checked by a health professional. By debunking these myths, we hope to foster a more open, informed discussion about menstruation. Remember, there's no room for shame or stigma when it comes to our health. Stay tuned as we further break down the menstrual cycle in our next segment. And now, having busted those myths, let's take a moment to consider how lifestyle factors can impact menstrual health. Yes, you heard it right. Our daily habits can significantly influence the menstrual cycle. Diet, exercise, stress levels, and sleep patterns all play a crucial role. Consuming a balanced diet rich in iron and vitamins can help manage the physical demands of menstruation. Regular exercise can not only alleviate menstrual discomfort, but also regulate the cycle. On the other hand, chronic stress can disrupt hormonal balance, leading to irregular periods. And let's not forget the importance of good sleep hygiene for overall hormonal health. Remember, a healthy lifestyle is key to a healthy menstrual cycle. In the next segment, we will unveil the complexities of the menstrual cycle. So stick around. Before we dive into the complexities of the menstrual cycle, it's vital to understand the key players that regulate this process, the hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers that govern several body functions, including menstruation. The menstrual cycle is an intricate interplay of various hormones, primarily estrogen and progesterone. These hormones are produced by the ovaries and play a significant role in preparing the body for potential pregnancy. So how does it work? At the beginning of the cycle, the estrogen levels rise, thickening the lining of the uterus. Around mid-cycle, an egg is released from the ovary in a process called ovulation. If the egg is not fertilized, the levels of both estrogen and progesterone drop, leading to the shedding of the uterine lining, commonly known as menstruation. But remember, hormonal balance is delicate and can be easily disrupted by factors like stress, poor diet, and lack of exercise, as we discussed in our previous segment. So, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial for a balanced menstrual cycle. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into understanding the cycle in our next segment. In the journey of menstrual health awareness, empowerment comes through knowledge. Understanding your body, especially changes it experiences during the menstrual cycle, is crucial. The cycle, as we've learned, is a complex interplay of hormones and can be influenced by various factors. 
However, recognizing what is normal and what is not is the key to maintaining menstrual health. The menstrual cycle can bring about several changes, both physical and emotional. These changes are typically regular and predictable. You may experience bloating, mild cramps, and mood swings, all of which are normal. However, drastic changes, severe discomfort, or intense pain are not. These could be signs of underlying health concerns, such as hormonal imbalances or menstrual health conditions. Self-care practices, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, and sufficient sleep, can significantly impact your menstrual well-being. But remember, while self-care is essential, it's equally important to seek professional guidance when necessary. A healthcare professional can provide accurate information, address your concerns, and guide you towards appropriate treatment if needed. So, empower yourself with knowledge, practice self-care, and don't hesitate to seek professional help when needed. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into understanding the menstrual cycle in our next segment. As we continue our deep dive into menstrual health, let's turn our attention to a factor that significantly impacts not only our overall health, but also our menstrual health, stress. Stress, be it physical or emotional, can play a significant role in the regularity, intensity, and duration of our menstrual cycle. Stress can trigger hormonal imbalances, disrupting the delicate dance of hormones that regulate menstruation. This can lead to irregular periods, heavier or lighter menstrual flow, and even missed periods. Chronic stress can even contribute to more severe menstrual health conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, or endometriosis. So, how can we manage stress for better menstrual health? The answer lies in self-care and stress management techniques such as mindfulness, yoga, regular exercise, and a balanced diet. Professional guidance can also be invaluable in managing stress, providing personalized coping strategies and treatments. Remember, your mental health is as essential as your physical health in maintaining menstrual well-being. As we move forward, let's take a closer look at understanding our menstrual cycle in the next segment. How much do you really know about menstrual health? A question that often gives pause, isn't it? Today, we're diving into the deep end of this crucial topic. Menstruation, a natural biological process, is unfortunately often veiled in myths, misconceptions, and taboos. But let's clear the air and understand it for what it truly is, an intricate yet fundamental aspect of women's health. Let's start with the basics. The menstrual cycle. This monthly event is the body's way of preparing for potential pregnancy. It's a dance of hormones, primarily estrogen and progesterone, that lead to the shedding of the uterine lining. This cycle typically lasts anywhere between 21 to 35 days and is as unique as the individuals experiencing it. So what's the takeaway? Simply this, menstruation, despite its often negative connotations, is a healthy and natural process. Understanding the cycle is the first step towards menstrual health awareness. Have you ever wondered if your period is normal? This question often arises due to common menstrual concerns such as heavy bleeding and irregular periods. Heavy bleeding, or menorrhagia, is not just about the inconvenience of changing pads or tampons frequently. It can lead to discomfort, disrupt daily activities, and in severe cases cause anemia, a condition marked by low iron levels in the body. On the other hand, irregular periods refer to menstrual cycles that vary significantly in length. This inconsistency can stem from various factors, including stress, significant weight changes, and underlying health conditions. While these concerns are common, they are not something to be brushed under the carpet they can indicate underlying issues that require attention. So it's essential to listen to what our bodies are telling us. Remember, there is no normal, but understanding common concerns can guide us to seek help when needed. Did you know that some menstrual health concerns are linked to specific conditions? One such condition is endometriosis, where tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the uterus. This can lead to severe pain, heavy periods, and even infertility. Another condition, polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is characterized by hormonal imbalances, irregular periods, and the development of small cysts on the ovaries. This can lead to difficulty in conceiving, weight gain, and other health issues. Fibroids, non-cancerous growths in the uterus, can cause symptoms like heavy menstrual bleeding and pelvic discomfort. Lastly, premenstrual syndrome, commonly known as PMS, 
involves a group of symptoms like mood swings, bloating, and breast tenderness, appearing in the days leading up to menstruation. These conditions can significantly impact a woman's quality of life, but with awareness and early detection, they can be managed effectively. So, remember, awareness about these conditions can help in early detection and treatment. Menopause is a natural transition, but do we talk about it enough? Menopause, the end of a woman's menstrual cycles, usually comes into play around the age of 50. It's a significant shift, signaling the end of a woman's reproductive years. This transition is not just physical but emotional too, bringing about changes like hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, and even vaginal dryness. Yet despite its inevitability and impact, menopause is often a hushed topic. But why should it be? It's as natural as the sunrise, as fundamental as the change of seasons. Menstrual health, including the transition to menopause, should be openly discussed without fear or embarrassment. By fostering an environment of open communication, we can ensure that individuals feel comfortable sharing their experiences and seeking advice. In this era of change and progression, let's break down the barriers of silence. Let's normalize the conversation around menstruation and menopause. Menstrual health is about empowerment and self-care, but when should we seek professional guidance? Understanding your body and menstrual cycle is a powerful tool. It allows you to recognize when things are normal and when they're not. It's about learning to listen to your body, to understand its rhythms and signals. Self-care practices such as maintaining a balanced diet, engaging in regular physical activity, and ensuring you get enough sleep can significantly impact your menstrual well-being. However, empowerment also means knowing when to seek help. If you notice drastic changes in your cycle, or if you're experiencing severe discomfort or pain, it's crucial to seek professional guidance. Healthcare providers can offer an early diagnosis and appropriate treatment, alleviating symptoms, preventing further complications, and promoting overall health. Remember, menstrual health is not just about managing a monthly cycle, it's a vital part of your overall health and well being. Taking care of our menstrual health empowers us to live healthier, happier, and more fulfilling lives. As we wrap up this enlightening journey through menstrual health awareness, we'd like to extend our heartfelt thanks for your time and attention. This is a topic that affects everyone, directly or indirectly, and it's crucial for all of us to be well-informed. We hope that these insights have empowered you to better understand and manage your menstrual health. Knowledge is indeed power, and we encourage you to share this power with others. Whether it's a friend, sibling, partner, or parent, share this video and help spread awareness. The more we talk about menstrual health, the more we can break down the walls of silence and stigma that have surrounded it for too long. We also urge you to continue the conversation about menstrual health in your own circles. Discuss, ask questions, share experiences, and learn together. Remember, every conversation is a step towards better understanding and better health. As we conclude, remember this, your health is in your hands. You have the power to make informed decisions about your body and your well-being. Let's continue to break the silence and stigma around menstruation. Stay healthy, stay empowered. Thank you for joining us on this journey.